Hi everybody, this is Joe from Show to Speak Photography. Today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about using color LUTs or lookup tables in Luminar 4 and we'll touch briefly upon Photoshop as well. Color lookup tables are used in every movie that comes out of Hollywood and I'm going to show you how to give your images that extra little punch to make it more look like it's straight out of Hollywood. And at the end of this video, stick around because I'm going to also give you the option to download 10 free Hollywood lookup tables or color lookup tables that um, I'm going to give you for free that will give you the ability to style your images after some of the major Hollywood movies that have just come out recently like Joker 2019, um, the movie 1917, and a bunch of others. Okay, so stick around to the end for that and let's get started. Okay, so I'm in Luminar 4.2, and up on my screen I have an image of a character dressed like the Joker. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to use one of my own color lookup tables. Now, in Luminar, during the Essentials tab, you just click down here to the Creative tab, and you're going to see Color Styles, LUT. LUT stands for Lookup Table, okay, and what it's going to do is it's going to apply a series of colors to your images, and you're going to have a little bit of control over it, um, not a tremendous amount, but I'll show you how to apply it in different ways, and this is what's going to give your photo that extra punch. Now, Luminar comes with a bunch of built-in lookup tables, and you can see how as we go down them, we're applying different color tones to this image. Um, but so since this is Joker, this movie had a lot of blues and reds in it and that kind of gives you that, I don't want to say almost almost circus feel to it, um, that, that clown kind of subconscious feel. So I've created a Joker lookup table that's heavy on the blues and reds and it's going to be in the free lookup pack that I'm going to give you that Hollywood inspired lookup pack. So you're going to get this one and you're going to be able to apply it to your own images as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down here to the creative tab. You're going to go to choose LUT or lookup table and you're just going to say load custom LUT file. So I'm going to use the ones that I have here that you're going to get for free and I'm going to select Joker 2019 and just say open. And now, just like that, this has been applied to the image. Now, we have a couple of different options. We have the amount slider, and I can raise that all the way up. And now, what I want to do is I'm going to toggle this back and forth so you can see exactly what the lookup table is done. Now, it's kind of subtle, but subtle is kind of the key here. And when you see the differences, I think you can understand why. So, let's go to our before after slider. So, this is before. Take a look at this image here inside the jacket. So this is before the lookup table, now after. Notice how the subtle blues and reds start to appear in here? Before, after. Look up in here. Again, we have these subtle blues and reds in the background that weren't there before. And it's these little subtle differences that make your image stand out. We have the ability to remove this uh, lookup table from certain areas of the image. So let's say we didn't like the way it affects the face. All we have to do is click on Edit Mask, select the Brush, and we can go to Erase. I'm going to set the opacity at 100 and bring the softness down to about 28 or so. Now I'm going to use the bracket keys left and right bracket, left bracket makes the brush smaller, right bracket makes it bigger, make this brush a little smaller, and I'm just going to now brush out the area of the lookup table that I don't want. And again, it's subtle, but now we can go over here to mask, we'll click on the eye to see where the mask is, and you can see I missed a little spot on the nose, so let's get rid of that. Everywhere else is where the lookup table is applied. 
this white area is where it's not applied. So now when I move my slider back and forth, oh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click done. Again, we still have all those nice subtle colors here in the suit jacket, the blues and the reds that have popped in there. We have these subtle blues and reds in the background. Okay, but we haven't affected the face. So that's one example. Let's take this next example here of this cowboy. Nice image. Um, we're just going to give it that a little extra. Again, I'm going to go to choose LUT and I'm going to use one of the custom LUT files that I've created. So we're going to go to load custom lookup table file and I'm going to choose the table that was inspired by Django Unchained, that movie, and I'm going to say open. And I'm going to bring this all the way up. Now you can control the amount with the amount slider. Again, it's kind of up to you how much you want. I'd say that looks that looks nice right about there. We can control the contrast and the saturation of the lookup table. That's going to be way too much. Let's bring it down. Or we could reduce the saturation. But I kind of like it the way it is. Let's take a look at the before and after. Nice image, but it's a little flat. Once we apply the lookup table, look how it makes the difference in the coat, the bandana, the contrast in the face. Um, it really makes this image pop and it gives it that, that movie look. Here's another one. Okay, we have a couple in a hotel. I'm going to go to load custom and let's pick the fear and loathing in Las Vegas and we're going to open that up and apply it and let's bring it up a bit oops there we go and let's take a look at what this does so that's the before this is the after it's cooled off all of our tones uh, it's cooled off the people and it's given it that signature look that when you see a movie generally a, cin a cinematographer is going to want to give a movie a signature look it's going to have a similar look and feel throughout the whole image it might be cool it might be uh, a very common one is a contrast of blue and teal i'm sorry orange and teal where the Teal makes the sky pop and the orange makes the skin tones pop. That's a very common one. So let's hop over into Photoshop and I have this image loaded up and it's the internal workings of a clock, but it's very um, cool image. Not a lot of tones going on. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do in Photoshop. So to apply a color lookup table in Photoshop, all you have to do is go right down here to your filter button, say color lookup, and this dialog up here is going to open up and you're just going to click on load 3D LUT. Okay, so if you want to load a custom one, you have to then click again load and a dialog will open up and it's going to be looking for cube files and a few other different files that Photoshop can handle as well. Um, if you want to use one that's already loaded, you can go down the list. I have a bunch that are extra that are loaded. Um, I found that this one here, this Pro Blue, works very well. And just by applying that, again, we've given it that, that cinema look. Look at the before, look at the after. It's got that movie look to it now, that, that blue cast that you see so often in movies. And now in Photoshop, we have a little bit more control because we can control the blend modes. So we could just put it into, say, overlay. Um, we could put it into soft light. Uh, we can go through all the different blend modes and see how that affects this image. Uh, dark, darker color. Uh, or we could just use it at normal, which actually seems to work pretty good. And we have, again, the opacity slider, so we could bring this down or up, depending on what we felt this image needed. So it's the same thing if we were in Luminar, we could pop that open, simply choose the LUT or lookup table file, 
and we can go through some of the ones that are built in. This section that you see here are extras. These didn't come with Luminar. They were from one of the Luminar packs that you can download. Um, if we go through these. The nice thing about Luminar is as we go through these lookup tables, you'll see you get a preview immediately as you mouse over them. You notice in Photoshop, when we apply the lookup table, let's get rid of this one. Let's go back, color lookup. As we go through the list here, you see that we don't get a preview of what these look like, unfortunately. So we can apply them and then we'd have to work it and kind of see what our taste was like for the particular image that we were working on and go from there. The nice thing about Luminar is, like I said, we can just go down this list and kind of see in real time how they're going to affect the image and see if we're going to get the feel, the look and feel that we're, we're looking for. Let's go with this one. Um, the only thing is that you have to remember, for whatever reason, they seem to be set all at 30%. So you're going to have the ability, though, to bring these way up. Let's just apply to a cool purple tone and bring them way down. And also, again, easy slider here to affect the contrast and the saturation of these lookup tables. So I hope you feel this has been helpful. If um, you take a look down at the end of this video and also in the comments below, I'm going to give you a link to my website where you can download a 10 pack of Hollywood inspired lookup tables that you can apply freely to your images. Hi everybody. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please help me out and hit the like button and the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications for future updates from this channel. Um, as you know, this channel is just starting out, so I certainly could use your help. So if you feel this video helped you, please help me and feel free to take a look down in the comments below for the link um, to my webpage to get the 10 Hollywood inspired lookup tables free. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.